In this lab, Lab 9, Intro to Speakers, we are connecting a speaker to jumper wires. We'll need two of those. We'll need one resistor. This is a 10 ohm, a brown, black, black, gold. Okay, so you can see the resistor. And then, of course, our battery. So this one will be fairly straightforward to create. Don't need the LED. I'll move that out of the way. All right. So I'm going to start with the resistor. And I'm going to put it in pins 9 J. Pin 9 J, like so. And pin 22 J. Alright, All right, so there's my resistor. Now, to connect the speaker, it's going to be very similar to what we did with the potentiometer, where you're going to take your jumper wire and wrap it around the terminals or lugs on the end of the speaker. So just bend this up. And if you're like I am and you have very brittle fingernails, it may cause you to break a nail, but it'll be all right. Okay, so there's one wire. And then I'm going to connect the other. The hardest part is getting it in here so that I can. And sometimes you just have to go at it in a different angle to be able to do it. So, put this where I can bend it without getting the little copper wire behind it. All right. Come on. What I just did was bent the lug up just a little bit. Don't want to move it much because it'll pop off. Okay. All right. So here we have our speaker connected. Well, I say we have it connected. Just lost one of my wires. So let me hook it back in there. Come on. There we go. So, now we have our speaker connected, our two wires, and we're going to put one end of the speaker into 9F, so 9F, okay, and then we're going to put the other end of the speaker into 25A, 25A. So there's the speaker, and it's just kind of hanging out. And then we're going to put in our battery. So 25E. And 22J. Hmm. I put the resistor in the wrong row. It should be an I, so I'm going to move it over one. All right, so that should be 9I and 22I. And then I will put the battery into 21J. Now, I don't hear anything, no static or anything, so I'm not really sure. It's very important to pay attention to the lead wires on the back of the speaker, as they are very fragile, and if they break, the speaker will no longer work. So, let me look. 
Be sure I haven't broken something back here. Alright. That appears to be intact. Alright. So, be very careful with the little copper wires back here. They might appear to be intact. I don't see anything that indicates they're not. Uh, but I'm getting no sound out. So let's try this again. Alright, so I have my battery connected to this 25K. Make sure my battery connection is good. And 9E. Ah, there we go. Can you hear the little clicking noises? That is the battery. Okay? I mean the speaker working. So, I must not have had something plugged in good. But there we go. It works. And if I were really good with Morse code, I could tap out Morse code signal here, but I'm not. So, so the idea is you're going to just get a little bit of static feedback from this. Now, when we get into our Arduino kits, you would be able, in theory at least, to plug in the speaker and configure the Arduino via code to play a tune on the speaker. So that's what's coming later on. So this was intro to speakers, lab number nine. Very simple once you have it put together correctly. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in class tomorrow. Have a great day.